and they're so pretty. 617 right now on this Wednesday. It's nice to see the sunshine again out the door this morning. It's a cool start. It's also nice to know we're nearing the end of hurricane season officially for the Atlantic Basin. There's your live look outside and sunrise on the way. If you want to get into something this evening and support a great cause, you can head out to Generations Hall for the playing it back benefit, which will benefit the Cajun Navy Relief and the Junior League of New Orleans. Some of the uh, performers will be DJ Rockaway and Cupid. So it's going to be a really nice evening. Rockin' Doopsie Jr. will also be there. Temperatures will fall through the 60s from 6 o'clock. The event wraps up at 64 degrees. So far this season, name storm 17, 10 hurricanes and six major hurricanes. So you can see where we are in terms of that NOAA forecast right on the money. Pretty much hurricanes, though we've seen that exceedance of that forecast between five and nine hurricanes uh, so far this season. One little system near the Azores with now a 10% chance of organizing over central and eastern Azores right now, seeing some heavy rainfall at times and some gusty winds, but this down to a 10% chance. Overall, though, for the Atlantic Bays and looking pretty quiet, so no tropical development expected in the next two to five days. Out the door this morning at the airport, 56 degrees, a cool start, jackets and sweaters. Winds are light out of the east. We have some 40 still for Bogalusa, 50 for Slidell, 60s and 50s on the south shore, and 50s for coastal Mississippi. Here are the winds now out of the east, 3 to 10 miles per hour through the afternoon, more of the same. And tonight, winds will become lighter, so we're seeing some patchy fog now, but later on tonight, we could see some areas of dense fog at times, so keep that in mind for your morning commute. Looking at clear skies, a nice setup this morning. Clouds to our north. That's where the next frontal boundary is also located. Highs today, a little bit warmer than yesterday. Low to middle 70s. Our normal high is 72, so we'll be close to that mark and uh, more of that gradual warm up through the week. Thursday and Friday, mostly sunny, dry conditions and highs upper 70s, overnight lows in the 60s. We do have a front that's close by. This front will actually pass through tonight, but it's the next system building in off the west coast that will supply us with a stronger frontal boundary moving in late Saturday into early Sunday. Today, sunny skies, a cool start, a mild afternoon. I mentioned that front to the north. It'll start to push through uh, later on Thursday, and then that'll drop through, but you won't notice too much of a change. Still sunny and mild on Thursday, and then the changes come this weekend. Still some questions on the timing of this front. We do know we have a chance for some showers on Saturday, not a washout of the day. It actually looks like the rain will come a little bit later on Saturday night into Sunday. Once that front passes through, though, big, big cool down cool and windy Sunday will go from the 80s Saturday to the 60s for highs on Sunday. A nice evening for a Pelicans game taking on the Raptors at 7 o'clock at the Smoothie King Center. Those temperatures falling through the 60s. More 70s tomorrow through Friday. Overnight lows 50s and 60s. You go from the 80s on Election Day to 60s on Sunday and then some 30s jump in for the North Shore Sunday night and that continues through Monday night as well. 40s south back to 70 on Tuesday. That's your forecast.